Well, a lengthy standoff in Philadelphia ended late last night after the suspects surrendered to police. Six police officers were shot, but all have since been released from the hospital. CBS's Tom Hansen is at the scene with details. The man who police say shot six officers during a lengthy standoff surrendered around midnight. Stand by, we have the mail out of the house. For more than seven hours, the suspect was holed up in a North Philadelphia building. Listen to me well, we got shot. Around 4.30 in the afternoon, police went to the home to serve a drug warrant. Officials say the operation went awry almost immediately. The shooter fired multiple rounds. Officers returned fire, many of whom who had to escape through windows and doors to get uh, from a barrage of bullets. Two officers and three other people were trapped inside until a SWAT team could free them. It's nothing short of a miracle that we don't have multiple officers killed today. Police say the shooter barricaded himself inside and was firing multiple rounds out his window. Yeah. Right now. A little angry uh, about have someone having all that weaponry and, and all that all that firepower. These women and young girls were in their second floor apartment when the shooting started. I thank God for these cops. They good people. Don't say nothing bad about them. They kept us safe the whole time. All six officers who were shot were released from the hospital. Two walked out as their colleagues saluted. Tom Hansen, CBS News, Philadelphia. Another police officer was injured in a car crash related to the standoff and taken to the hospital. An attorney says his former client, 36-year-old Maurice Hill, is the suspect. He was not injured during the standoff.